good day good day this video all about uh, business i see you guys you are looking for more tips how to start business how to do what what how to do what that so um i have to i give you seven tips seven tips on the list Uh, tip number one, you have a capital and you want to start a business. So, this one, what you have to do, first, you must check in your area what your people need. Eh? And uh, sometimes doesn't need you to check in your area, maybe just check for yourself. So what did you daily need? What you cannot survive without it? Okay, I like sugar, tea, bread, uh, oil, fish, airtime, those things. Now you can find those things, you buy them. You need now to know because it's actually a new shop to you. What you have to do, you have to find out which one is selling and which one doesn't sell. So, the first thing what you have to do when you buy your product. your buy fail so you can see how they can sell you find a space you know what the your people from your community what they like and what they need they need then you open your shop okay tip number two You have to you buy the product and for you to make sure those products we are selling or not selling you have to monitor them as a tip number two for example you buy a can of luxta so because this shop is new and you want to know how the people are gonna sell? Can I buy this thing out? So you don't need to buy the whole package for this thing. You need only to buy four. So you cannot you buy four and you check per week how they sell out. If they sell out, then you increase with two again or add two on top of this. So if they were four, then they sell out to be four a week, then you add another two, then it will be six. And that's how you increase your your stock. What they are saying, and how you find out which stock is selling and which stock doesn't sell. Um, tip number three. Now we are go. You open a shop. Number one, the first you find out how customer load, and you open a shop and you start to buy your stock in. Now, the tip number three, you need to get a profit from here. How, how, how can I get a profit from here? Maybe I buy this thing with already $12, $15. How do I do that? You only what you have to do to buy and make a profit from this one. You don't need to put more. $1 or $1.50 on top of this. It's a big profit that you can make end of the day don't need to put more money you put only few money and that one you're gonna generate is your profit no matter how small it is was not there so one dollar or 150 cent your profit that's how now tip number four 
tip number four you have to monitor your sale now how would you gonna monitor your sale sometimes you are living alone sometimes you are living with a family sometimes you are like that so what gonna happen is that maybe you buy sweet and one of your daughter sister brother come in chop one sweet out where you are not very least they hundred day and that one we call it a loss because you you know already there is already hundred sweet but now in that day there is no hundred sweet day we have to trust the person who can be there together with you if you not trust web then you must work with a key you work with a key that is security side now, tip number four, how to communicate with your customer. Because the customer is your boss and you have to communicate with them well. Because those ones, when they bring money to you, you have to respect them, you have to do everything what they need. For you to build your business to go up, only if you listen to your customer and you give them what they're looking for. There's only one way to go forward. Those customers, the one we are supporting, the one we are boss, and you have to live. To respect them tip number five service don't keep your stuff that dirty don't need anything that because not in the front of your shop dirty keep it clean and Customer, when they see the shop is clean outside, they think inside also is clean, and that is all. Priorities of cleaning is better, but you don't need, don't eat, eat in a dead plate, so don't allow somebody to eat in the dead plate. So that's how the same thing. A tip number five. Okay, tip number six. These two tips I put them in the last, so you guys you can understand. Tip number six is that you don't require hundreds of dollars to open a business. All what you need, even fifty dollars can open a business or hundred dollars. Because what you are looking is money. So you cannot open a business of ten thousand. Because you have to open a business five hundred, so you can get one thousand, what does you can get one thousand five hundred? That's how you can open a business. And don't listen to other people what they are saying because you you don't pursue your dream no one will do that or otherwise they can use you to perform to pursue their dream there's no money play small all the money we are big enough so you can start whatever you have go for it tip number seven I see you see my shop how it's looking here that is my own shop you must learn how to categorizing merchandising is also good it's a part of your profit because customer if you are merchandising the bread then you put a, a butter or peanut butter or salt sugar somewhere far from the bread customer maybe buy the bread there then you're gonna buy somewhere there or butter so you must understand the categorizing categorize mean what next to each other it, what i can if i buy a bread what i can eat with bread if i buy a sugar what i can do with sugar that's how it to do you must categorizing your thing and please consider subscribing pressing a notifying board button and leave a comment down any question what you ask ask there will answer it so the more you are scrub, uh, subscribing is give me more power to shoot more video learning about business i start there and i know how it's hard let's go forward let us build our continent africa is ours thank you very much Bye-bye.